Time for the fun time of the year, winter preview time. It's meteorologist Brian Ivey, and we saw quite a snow drought last year, so is that going to finally come to an end? Well, speaking of drought, my goodness, a big portion of the country under drought conditions, some of it even the worst, the exceptional stage. So is this going to linger into October, November and, and have a big influence on the beginning of winter pattern? We'll see. Jet stream mainly well off towards the north, allowing for a surplus of generally mild air into the decent amounts of the United States. At times over the course of the next few weeks, it'll jockey a little bit, but for the most part in through November, it's going to be generally in that configuration. And wow, it was super warm last winter for sure, especially upper Midwest into Canada, Great Lakes, but most of the country. There was not really any area that was chilly compared to average. Snowfall, yeah, there were some spots that were fairly decent, but you notice here a different story, much less. So that meant below average snowfall, even significantly in spots across the northern plains, upper Midwest, Mid-Atlantic, Northeast, down into portions of like Kentucky and St. Louis, a few spots, though, did see a decent amount of snow, Idaho, and portions of California, down across portions of the four corners in a few areas. We are seeing La Nina conditions develop. That is the blue color here. Below average sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. We have warmer weather here across the northern Pacific, and much of the Atlantic is above average. So it's all going to be able to play a little bit of a role. We do expect those La Nina conditions to continue to be very noticeable. This is model probability pretty high that La Nina will be around for winter. Now, not looking like a super strong La Nina. A lot of the uh, recent years we've seen either strong El Ninos, strong La Ninas. Those typically don't produce a super ton of snowfall widespread, but a weaker La Nina, that could do it. The general setup, colder air coming in from more from the northwest, warmer, drier weather across the south, but as that jet stream wavers, you can line up at times colder air and more moisture. So we'll see exactly how this kind of truncates, but it does look like some of the areas that have been very dry could get into a wetter pattern, but the coldest, snowiest looks to be across the northwest as we go throughout this winter overall. And I think this is going to be the general setup. High pressure across the middle portions of the Atlantic Ocean with all that warmer air, a southeast ridge develops, and generally speaking, warmer air gets into the eastern half of the country. We'll see this PNA form generally into the negative phase and some positive NAOs, and that will dump the cold into the northwest at times. For periods, it'll come off towards the east, but for the most part, warmer than average temperatures, probably across the east, even maybe into the northeast, with that cold generally staying a little bit to the west. Snow compared to average in La Nina years, a little bit above average from the northwest through upper Midwest and in towards southern Canada. So that could be a good sign of things to come, right? Well, in weaker La Nina years, this can even be amplified a little bit where the drier weather is a little bit further off towards the south. Now, this is our analog. So this is a mixture of other years that have been similar to what we're expecting atmospherically, from a teleconnection standpoint, from the ocean setup overall. So if we throw those together, these being kind of those similar La Nina years with a few other parameters, you're getting that colder than average across the northwest and you're getting generally mild across the south into the northeast. Much of the nation probably not straying too far from average. Now, we've had forecasts similar to that that have ended up way above average. So I think if we kind of just uh, flipped on kind of our slightly warmer than average weight because of recency that we've had, it's just the case. Maybe this warmer air does get further off towards the north and west. But even with that set, it's probably going to be a slightly cooler and a slightly snowier winter than what we had. I know that's not saying much, but we have decent confidence on that. This, can we see this pattern? I think the best chance is going to be in December for cold outbreaks, an early winter hit. November might not have that much cold and snow at all but it might be December that gets pretty active for three weeks or so with that mild Pacific air and high pressure further off to the west. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to have your big unveil now. Snow Outlook.
oh yeah, probably decently above average into the Northwest, but a decent portion of the nation below average, St. Louis again, Richmond into probably the New York area, average-ish, which again is an improvement probably for Chicago and Detroit in towards Montreal, uh, Bangor, Maine. So we'll keep an eye on it. It's still early, plenty of updates to come. Take care.